Hi, good day. This is your girl, the Phoenix. Back to another energy update for the sign of Scorpio. Just keep in mind, these are general readings. They're not going to resonate for all of you. But for the ones that it does resonate for, please like, share, comment, and subscribe to my channel. For those of you interested in a personal reading with me, all the information is in the description box below. For those of you that would like to donate to my GoFundMe campaign, that link is also in the description box below. Alright, so let's see what is happening here for you guys. Alright, so... Your focus is on a relationship, something that is new, something that you're now getting into. Or it could be that you feel that there is something about this person you're now learning. That is causing you a bit of concern, that is causing you to feel like it's not going to work. <clears throat> now, you are taking advice from family and friends as regards to this person's change in the relationship. And you feel like they are doing something that you don't want them to do. You suspect them of doing something that you feel is going to be unsatisfactory to you. But you do hold this person in high regards. You do love them a lot. And it would seem that you really want to be with this individual. So you're hoping against hope that what it is you're suspecting is not that that they are doing. You are hoping that they are not using you or lying to you in any way. Alright, so let's see what's coming through the towers for you guys. Alright, so you want this person to actually have a give and take. You want them to be equal with you on that footing as regards to love and commitment. And it would seem that that is what is causing you some concern because this person may not be interested in doing that. Communication between you and this person right now is at a kind of standstill. Could be a Leo you're connecting to, but this person is in their ego and not wanting to change is something that is happening here for this individual. They refuse to change the way that they do things and this is causing you some concern and you find it to be unfair to you. Now there is still some unfinished business between you and this individual so the cycle between you and them haven't closed off as yet but you are trying to ignore things that you should be looking at. The divine is trying to give you something. The divine is trying to show you something and you're not looking at the lesson, you're just looking at the person. Now you want a new beginning when it comes to passion. You actually want this person in your life and you're willing to make sacrifices for them. But are the sacrifices you're willing to make would be too high in the long run? That is up to you and that is a question you need to ask yourself. Now you have a, reg you have a lot of regrets about things that you let pass before in this relationship, things that you allowed this person to do that you said nothing about. Now it is becoming a problem for you where they are becoming more and more demanding they're expecting you to understand more and more and this is causing a disconnect in the connection yeah where it is at this point where communication is just a quarrel and you're trying to find the strength to let this person know how you truly feel for some of you it is a leo you're dealing with but it's like you're afraid to tell this person what you truly have in your heart to say to them. For some of you, it is a Sagittarius, but you, you don't know how to fix the situation. Because it has gone on so long and it has gotten so far out of hand that you don't know how to get this person to change what they are doing. And it's causing you a lot of discomfort, a lot of stress. Yeah, but you don't want to walk away from them. You want to try to make this work. You want to try to fix this connection. Yeah, because you want a committed relationship with them. You want long term. You want happiness. You want the whole nine yards. So you're trying to really try to make this work. But sometimes you feel like giving up because this person could be very difficult to connect with and deal with. 
could be a Gemini, Libra, or Aquarius you're connecting to, but this person is very direct in their communication. They come off very cool and very harsh. And for you being a water sign, that could be a lot to take and handle. And every single time that you guys quarrel, you feel a knife go into your back one at a time. It hurts you very deeply. But you're afraid that you may be wasting your time waiting on this person to change. Yeah. <clears throat> now you do want a relationship with this person. You want a committed relationship with this person. But you're questioning if this is your person. Could be an Aries Leo or Sag. Now this person is really controlling. For you, they are manipulative. They are... They possess a lot of narcissistic qualities. That is the best way I can put it for you because that is the energy coming off of that card. Control, control, control. Yeah. But if you separate from this person, you are afraid that you will not be able to love another again. Not the way you love this person. Because you see them as the person you want to be with. You see this person as someone that is caring, <coughs> <coughs> sorry, kind, lovable. But then this other side of, side of this person comes out and that leaves you wondering what to do. Because they have a lot of nice qualities that you you really do like about them but then this other side of this person comes out and you 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 are left with questions the direct communication is not happening between you and this person it's like the more you try to communicate with them it's the more they pull away the more it turns into arguments yeah and you let it go because you want to be in a relationship with this person you love this person. You want to be with them in this 3D reality. And you let a lot of stuff go. Could be an Aries for some of you. But you see this person as husband material, wife material. Someone that you can have forever with. So you allow them to do a lot of things, say a lot of things, treat you a certain way. Could be a Pisces for some of you. But there is a secret that is going to come out and be exposed for you very soon concerning this individual. Yeah. Could have to do with a Gemini, Libra, Aquarius. You could have it in your chart. They could have it in theirs. You could be one. But somebody here is coming off really cold, really direct in their communication, you know, really forceful. But this person is ready to cut out who or what is not serving them. So if you are no longer serving this, serving this person's needs, they are ready to move on from you. So it's up to you if what they are demanding, you're willing to give. Yeah. Now you have a lot of nostalgic memories where this person in the beginning was very truthful to you, was very direct, was very loving and kind. But somewhere in the relationship, this person changed. This person became someone that you couldn't even recognize anymore. Alright, so what is the most likely outcome for my Scorpios in this specific connection? Most likely outcome for my Scorpios in this specific connection. All right, so you're going to receive communication from this individual very soon. But understand this. You need to be very wise in your communication with them. You have learned a lot about them as regards to behavioral patterns. Use those things when speaking to this individual. Do not be so gullible to them. Yeah. Because there is still something that they are hiding from you. They are being deceptive to you. Yeah, and you need to cut something out. You need to cut something away. You need to 
say what is on your mind and understand the lessons that you're going to be getting from this relationship. It is a relationship about lessons. It is a relationship about growth potential. You will have a new direction in which you go into, but the choice is yours at the end of the day if it will be with this person or not. All right, so this is what I have for you guys. I hope it does help. Have a good week.